Hello, everybody. Peace and greetings. Welcome to Culture and Dining with our day IA. Welcome to my world. Before we go any further, I would like for you to like, share, and subscribe. Tell somebody about me so we can have some fun together exploring the world of food. The reason I want to play with food is because, one, I like food. I love to eat. And two, as a vegan, when you learn all these different culture foods and how they prepare vegetables, you don't miss meat, honey. So today I want to talk to you about black eyed peas. I grew some this summer just because I wanted to see if I could indeed grow some black eyed peas. I had tried before, didn't quite work. But this time I had enough total, I probably got about four cups worth of black eyed peas. I cooked some earlier in the summer, left them at my mom's house. She cooked some others. And as I was looking up recipes for something else, I found this recipe for Red Red. Now, growing up in the South in Texas with a mother from the country, Black Eyed Peas has always been in my diet. Always. It doesn't matter what time of the year. We go eat some Black Eyed Peas. Sometimes it's with cornbread. Sometimes it was rice. And depending where you are, that black eyed peas and rice is called Hoppin' John. So, that's how I ate them, you know? And especially for New Year's, you always have some black eyed peas and cabbage, but that's a whole nother conversation. So, as I have learned all these different foods in African culture, especially uh, Nigerian food and food from Ghana, but more specifically from Nigeria because my godfather introduced us to a very range of foods from Nigeria, particularly foods that the Yoruba people eat. So I learned about Akara, which is a black eyed pea fritter. Go imagine. Yeah, those are so good, so good. And then this recipe for red, red. I'm like, wait, I needed, I didn't, you know how there's something you don't know you need in your life until you get that thing? That is red, red. Recipe is real simple, beloved. It's it's black eyed peas. You're gonna spice up some palm oil, mash those black eyed peas, pour that palm oil over, caramelize you some plantains, baby, let me tell you. So watch the video, check out this real simple, easy recipe for a street food. I've decided that, you know what? That's going to be an appetizer for some party or another that I have and invite some people over. And you know how you usually have, oh, you know, the relish trays, a little meat tray. Baby, this red red is going to become a appetizer. Now, this time I didn't do it with the banana leaves, but trust me, baby, I'm going to figure out how to roll that up. And make that, uh, oh yes, baby. I will share with you in the description where I got the recipe from. 
how I made it since I use fresh black eyed peas versus dry black eyed peas. And I left one thing out because I didn't have it. I forgot to go get it, but it doesn't matter because let me tell you, baby. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. So give it a try. Leave me a comment and let me know how you like this red, red. And please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, beloveds. Okay, step one in preparing the red, red is cooking the black eyed peas. Now, the she, the recipe that I'm using calls for two cups of black eyed peas. Um, those were dried and she soaked them overnight. I'm using fresh black eyed peas so it's not going to take as long to cook them. That is green onions and purple onions. And I'm going to bring these to a boil, get them cooked and done. And in the meantime, I will be preparing the palm oil. Okay, so now this is the second thing that needs to be done is spicing the palm oil. So that's going to cook for about two, three minutes and then I will add some habanero. I have added my habanero pepper in there. Next, I'm going to add in some cloves and some garlic puree. She had um, a niece. I don't have any. I will get some the next time, but I'm going to do with what I have because that's what a cook does. They work with what they have in their kitchen, right? Right. So I will show it to you when it is completed. Now to test my peas. They are to smash. They could be just a little bit softer, I believe, based on hers. We're going to let those cook a little bit more 